Hello friends, welcome. In this video, we are going to understand what is computer. Very simple friends. Computer is an electronic device which takes the data, process and gives you output. What is computer? Computer is an electronic device which takes the input, process the data and gives you output. That is known as computer. In another words, computer is an combination of hardware and the software just known as computer according to appearance computer is a combination of cpu monitor keyboard and the mouse right so we also see the uh, overview of a computer that how it is designed so now you are observing the side view of a computer now on the screen you are observing the back side view of a computer and that's the front view right so first we understand the main parts of a computer the first part is a cpu central processing unit so where the data is going to process inside the computer and we have the monitor to check the output and we give the input using the keyboard and the mouse so what is computer computer is an electronic device which takes the input from keyboard and mouse and process the data inside the cpu and gives you output in the monitor that is known as computer right so we also understand the steps one by one first we start from a cpu Okay, on the CPU on the front page, you can see the power button which is used to turn on the power and also turn off the power to the CPU. And we have the another button called the reset button. If the system is not working properly, this if the system is hanging somewhere to restart your computer, we use the button known as reset button. But nowadays in a modern CPU, there will be only one button which works as a power button and also as a reset button if you are pressing for pressing and holding for 30 seconds and down to the power and reset button we have the compact disk drive space where you can insert cd or dvd for the access in the bottom you have the usb port and also the audio ports usb ports is used to insert pen drive keyboard mouse or any other external access and we have the audio ports one is for audio receiver one is for audio output speakers and that's the main parts of a, a cpu now we also have a look at the parts of a keyboard so this is a keyboard if you are observing 108 keyboards in a keyboard that is known as standard keyboard standard keyboard if you are observing 108 keys on a keyboard it is known as a standard keyboard on every keyboard you can see there is a top left that is known as esc escape key which is used to get back or is used is also used for exit and next to the escape key we have f12 f12 all our function keys you know f1 is a fun function key for help f2 is a function key for rename likely each and every keyboard has its own function and next to the function keys you have the extra keys and they are here you can see home insert page up page down delete so all they are known as the extra keys down to the extra keys you can observe there is a arrow keys are known as navigation key right arrow left arrow up arrow and down arrow and next to extra keys and navigation you can see you can see there is a specially designed keypad is available okay yeah again you have from a to z 0 to 9 a to z 0 to 9 all they are known as typewriter keys in the bottom you have the control button and next to control you have the window button and next to window you have the alternative button that is known as alter and we have the space bar okay so this is how a keyboard is designed so if you are observing 106 keys on a keyboard then it is known as standard keyboard if you are observing less than 106 it is known as smart keyboard okay so that how the keyboard is designed i'll go to the next one so this is the original view of a keyboard so we also discussed the something about the mouse so mouse is one of the input device of a computer mouse mouse will have the two buttons one is a right click and other one is a left click right click is used to get the list of actions and the left click is used to access any action i repeat right click is used to get list of actions left click is used to activate any one action from the list of actions and inside that you have the scroller which is used to page up and again page down to scroll up to scroll down we use the mouse yeah 
yeah so we have right click left click and the scroll now we also understand the main parts of cpu in cpu the so now on the screen you are observing a uh, different kind of uh, CPU branch and there are totally uh, three things in every keyboard you can see in, in every CPU there is a black one and here is a silver one again here is the same black color uh, this is known as SMPS SMPS stands for switch more power supply which is going to supply the power which is going to supply the power to the computer parts okay so what is SMPS SMPS stands for switch more power supply which is going to supply the power to all parts all all parts of a CPU that's the main thing next we also see that one of the most important part inside the CPU that is the motherboard right so everything is going to be accessed from the motherboard that's the motherboard so on the this is the open motherboard and the next important part of a motherboard is the processor so this is how the processor look like processor is just like a heart of a computer so everything is going to be processed when you are going to do any calculation or running any application application closing any application saving data everything will be done from the processor processor is mainly used for your CPU progresses right yeah so after the processor we have the second part that is the RAM okay that is RAM 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 stands for random access memory RAM stands for random access memory the all current applications will be run from the RAM so when you are going to save it is going to save under rom that is known as read only memory or also known as hard disk drive so so the application will be running under ram and when you are going to save any data from the application it goes to rom that is known as hard disk drive right so what is ram stands for random access memory now, now on the screen you are observing that is a rom read only memory and also known as hard disk drive where you are going to store the data on a hard disk and the first first image is a close to hard disk and the second one is a open hard disk yeah so this is the main parts of computer and so what is computer computer is an electronic device which takes the input process the data and gives you output in another words computer is a combination of software and hardware according to appearance computer is a combination of monitor cpu keyboard and mouse so using the keyboard and mouse computer is going to collect the input in the cpu it is going to process in the monitor it is going to give you output so what is computer computer is an electronic device which takes the input process the data and gives you output right so now we also see the modern developed computers and the first one that you are observing that is the desktop and the second one is the is also modern cpu and the last one that is a laptop where you can work by putting on your lap right so that is known as laptop so they all these are all the modern computers right thank you